What's happening everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today we have an unboxing to do for you guys. This is coming in from AM8 Knives, also known as Migaron. They are sister companies. It's the same company, just under a different brand. And they bring a bunch of fire to knife buying as a whole, to the knife community. They have $50 budget knives that are using very, very good materials. And they are also using titanium M390, S90V, and they're able to keep that price quite a bit lower. And they have given us as knife buyers easy access. You can get most of their, you can get their knives from most retailers, White Mountain Knives. Uh, you can get them through Amazon. All the bigger retailers carry almost all of the bigger retailers carry Migarons or AM8s. I have a couple of their budget-ended knives and they are pretty much flawless. I have a couple of their higher-end knives. The one was flawless and the other one just needed one little tweak and it was good to go. Uh, they normally do very, very well if anything, they might miss on like one thing that could have been a little better, but at that price point, it's kind of hard to push too much against them. So we will go ahead and get started with this. I was able to find these on Amazon and pick them up very easily. Two day shipping, no problem. And if you enjoy content like this, unboxings, gear reviews, overviews on knives, reviews on knives and different kinds of gear, and you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you here. And you would be welcomed with open arms. Everyone is welcome here as long as you are a respectful human being. You are welcome here, no question. Today I am carrying the Jaeger M, the Brian Brown Knives Jaeger M. This is the version two. Got some extra accessories going on with this guy. Zerku tie clip and backspacer. Titanium hardware, the pivot, the screws is all titanium black anodized hardware. And then you do have zirconium for the pivot collars. So this guy is fully decked out and it also has skiffs for the bearings. So this thing is pretty much complete in my book. We will go ahead and use him to open this guy up. And if you would guys, before you head out, Give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. That helps kick the video into high gear, hopefully. And if you have some extra time, leave a comment down below. Now this is technically my first AM8 uh, branded knife. I have not had an AM8 in. All the ones that I have have been branded uh, by Migaron and I would say the most recent one that I got is was very very well done using very very good materials and it was at a very reasonable price so you do get this nice cloth box it's very soft feeling and then you have a pull tab here so they are stepping up their packaging a little bit more you do get a nice little cleaning cloth there you get a business card from am8 there and here we go so this is the prayer 2 we will move all this stuff out of the way 
And right off the get-go, guys, I can say this thing is beautiful looking. So you have this milled titanium, almost like a diamond pattern there, milled into the scales. And then you do have this chamfer running on both sides. You have a 3D milled clip there had to get some extra lighting going but this thing is beautiful you have very minimal hardware on the front you have two body screws on the front there and then you just have the pivot and then you have the told side on the lock face here or on the lock side and you have a nice pivot collar there you have some body screws and two clip screws there. This is contoured, so it feels very, very good. It's not flat feeling. You do have a little backspacer, titanium backspacer there with your titanium milled clip. You do have some relief cuts there and it is milled out on both sides so that will also aid in some weight saving one thing i want to note is and you don't see this a lot but in the plastic baggie that it comes in they tag it with a sticker this is not sealed up uh it it's opened is what i mean it's not shrink wrapped so it this has definitely been checked, uh, and I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of knives you get, they'll come sealed up, and you can almost bet that that might not have either been QC checked or not checked very well. Uh, now, it's, it's possible that they're being QC checked and then they're being shrink wrapped by maybe some of the very big companies, but I would prefer to see this. You have an open bag. You do get a sticker that says it has passed a QC check. So I really appreciate that. And the cloth that you get, it's a good size. So that will come in handy. You got the AM8 there on it. And it feels pretty good. Uh, so that's a nice little addition. A lot of knives are starting to come with cleaning cloths, but uh, I really appreciate a good one, a good sized one. So let's go ahead and give it a flick. Ooh, that's, I was expecting like a cheap drop for some reason, but it's more of a hydraulic drop. Definitely needs a little break in, maybe a little oil. Thumb flicking a titanium frame lock with a hole like this can be tough. But once you kind of figure out first if you can do it, some knives you just cannot do it. Uh, others you can with the right finger placement and you also have to be using the hole correctly uh, or you will not get it this is good for all three the thumb the thumb flick the reverse flick is good to go and then that flipper tab you have jimping on the top there it is angled well. Pretty good detent. It's not too strong. It's not too light. Could it be stronger? Maybe a touch, but I think if it was any stronger, you might start to struggle with the reverse and thumb flicks so i think it, they have this pretty pretty well dialed in can you push button it 
Yes, you can push button it. It's a, got a flat spot here. Some are pointier than others, and uh, they're not very well suited for the light switch, but this one is flat, so it is not bad at all. And then, obviously, the light switch is good. The push button is good. Thumb flick is very good. And the reverse flick is good if you don't mess it up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go over this guy just a little bit. First impression style. Uh, you do have that clip point blade, which is well, well finished. Almost looks like a DLC coating. You have the AM8 symbol. Very, very small, very minimal right next to the scale. Great job, AMA. If anything, that is what I want to see. I'd rather see this than this. And if nothing else, I'd rather see nothing on the blade. But if there has to be something, something very minimal, something out of the way, I can appreciate that. And then all you have on the other side is that beautiful steel marking. Look at that. S90V. Oh, I love S90V and I've been getting a lot more of it recently. Uh, I really like S90. And I can tell you guys right off the get go, in the hand, this is comfortable. Very comfortable. Can you climb up here? You can a little bit. I wouldn't do any hard use cutting this way because you are going to cut your finger right there if you end up squeezing right there. You can do like the fingertip uh, grip here like this and you will be fine even if you're hard, you know, in a squeeze type grip. Uh, you can climb up for an index type cut which is one of my favorite grips, as you know. So I'm going to say right now, first impressions, this is very, very comfortable. You have a nice chamfer there. Yeah, this is comfortable. I don't feel that nice flat titanium clip at all. I'm really digging this thing and from they, they are coming out with a few other variations of this. And then I think they're coming out with another blade shape as well. Or it's already out. And then they're going to do some different variations with that as well. Yeah, see, it's already starting to break in. We'll do a disassembly of this guy. Clean it up. Oil it up. Uh, not in this video, obviously. We will do that in a separate video. But uh, it's already starting to break in. Nice and tight lockup. She is dead centered. And I mean dead centered. Nice. It's hard to see that black blade. But uh, it is dead centered. There we go. Nice, Megaron. AM8, very good. I really, they are really, really stepping up their game, guys. Uh, very impressive. And these come in under 200 bucks, guys. S90V titanium that is contoured. It has a milling pattern in it. It is very well finished. I mean, this thing is well finished no sharp edges everything is nice and soft this is very very well finished guys and for the price a lot of companies would charge you 300 minimum for something like this i would say 90 percent of companies out there would be charging 275 to 300 minimum for S90V titanium scales that are excellently finished. You have milling, contour. 
you do have weight relief in the uh, you have weight relief milling on the inside of the scales you have relief cuts there very well finished the hardware is nicely done I wonder what we are working with as far as looks like t6 so you have t6 t6 so it looks like t6 and then t8 one thing i've noticed though is if you make them t6s deep enough they tend to be a lot better and i prefer t8 obviously let's just do t8 all around so I would say that is one, you know, like I was saying at the beginning, they typically get almost every single thing right. And then there's that one small thing that could make it even better. And so far, that is what would make this knife almost complete as of right now, giving us T8 all the way around. And this would be a grand slam. Uh, it's already a home run, you know, and if the hardware we'll find out on disassembly uh, But if the hardware is well done, maybe we can give them a slight pass for that but uh, All in all guys. I am really really digging this guy man starting to break in good Yes The blade shape they have they're gonna have a couple. I think they're gonna have like a straight back drop point styled one this one and then i'm not sure if there's one more or not there's definitely two uh and then there's going to be a couple variations of both of them i believe they're both going to have s90 uh but don't quote me on that but uh i opted for this one because it had the flipper tab the other one has a hole and thumb studs i wanted a flipper tab and a hole so this is perfect and I'm going to put it, it's a clip point, but it's really not that clipped. It's more of a, a drop point, like a modified drop point. It clips a tiny, tiny bit, but that does not bother me one bit. That is awesome. One other thing I want to check. I'm crossing my fingers here because if this is nice and sharp, I'm going to be very giddy. Oh. Guys, guys, guys. Wow. I don't know, is that a hollow? A shallow hollow grind? Boy, it, it feels like it. Either way, that's not something, you know, they, flat grinds, hollow grinds, they all have their places. Um, I like both of them a lot. Uh, so either way, that don't bother me. This is this is good. Good to go, guys. So that will do it for the unboxing. First impressions of the AM8 Prayer 2. It's the 2. Uh, they must have had a first one, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm not aware of that, but Prayer 2. So far, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. We are going to do a disassembly, we are going to do an overview, and then we will do a short and long-term review in the future. Alright guys, if you hung out through the whole thing, love y'all, give the video a thumbs up, let me know what you think down below, and if you're still here and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Love y'all, catch you on the next one.